Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy and thank you so much for clicking on our video. Guys, I've got two brand new panels to show you today, but these are personal portable super light panels. This is one right here. It's a 45 watt panel. It only weighs three pounds. I've got the 60 watt sitting next to me. I'm going to show you both. We're going to take a close look, but let me tell you, these panels offer USB type C. They offer DC and they offer XT60. So you've got three ways you can use them to charge, which is nice. They're great for charging your cell phone, your tablet, maybe your laptop or a small power station. If you hike or you camp, they're a perfect companion, by the way. But no matter what, these are really nice to have in any situation, especially if you lose power. So why don't we go ahead and check this out? Let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get these unboxed. There you go. And of course, in a little while, we're going to take a close look at these panels, so don't worry. But we've got the 60 watt here and the 45 watt here. Now you do get a quick start guide. All right, to get you started, you do get a DC 5521 cable that's going to connect to the panel. And then this would connect to your XT60. And by the way, this is an XT60i. So nice. Now, I'll tell you off the bat, I wish they gave you like an eight foot or a six foot USB type C cable, because that's another way you're going to use these to charge your phone and, and maybe even, you know, your laptop or your iPad. So I'm surprised they didn't give you that. You do get these clips because you can hang the panels. So you get four of these because you can hang them or you can lay them down. So uh, let's take some time and move forward. Let's go ahead and take a close look. I'm going to go ahead and just look at the 45 watt for now because it's, you know, this desk is only so big. But let's start off with the junction box. And what I'll do is I will zoom in for you and show you that this is the... Um, First of all, they've got really nice covers. So this is your DC5521 right there. And then on the other side, you've got your USB Type-C. Let me just pull this back to show you your USB Type-C. All right. And then you have an indicator light, by the way. As you can see, these button up really nice. You know, you, you close up and they button up real nice. You can throw them right in your backpack. So that's pretty cool. It's not too big, not too thick, right? You saw the dimensions and the weight earlier. If not, go back. But it's made of a really nice durable fabric. Again, PCB fiberglass. And the um, panels have that ETFE coating which is nice. And this is a four panel, by the way. So give me a moment without me fumbling. Let me see if I can open this up for you. Again, we're going to take a look at these outside too, but you know, um, they didn't skimp. And to my knowledge, the ETFE coating is pretty much the best out right now for solar panels, at least portable solar panels, you know? Let's take some time now and go over cost and specs. I will put the information for the 45 watt on the left side. I will put some information for the 60 watt on the right side. Let's start off with MSRP. So the 45 watt is $99. The 60 watt is $139. I will put links in the video description for these panels. By the way, if you use our links, you help our channel at no additional cost to you. 
So we'd appreciate that. Now, power, rated 45 watts, right? Rated 60 watts, but they say plus or minus 5 watts. So that means that you can get as high as 50 watts or as high as 65 watts. But pump the brakes. If you're new to solar, it's really hard because those are perfect conditions. You're talking, you don't have any heat. Uh, for the most part, maybe you're using these in the cold. The angle is correct. You've got really good sun. So you'll get close, but I just wanted to say that for folks that are new in solar. Now let's talk about the connectors that are on these panels. So on the panel themselves, and we'll take a close look, you have a DC 5521 port on both, and you have a USB Type-C port on both. You do also get a cable that converts the DC 5521 to an XT60. So think about that. You've got three ways that you can actually use these panels. XT60i, DC, or USB Type-C. That's pretty darn cool. Let's talk about the cell type and the material. So this is a top cone monocrystalline silicone. It is made of a PCB fiberglass with an ETFE coating. Now you say that five times, that's something. Open circuit voltage on the 45 watt is 25.6 volts. Short circuit current is 2.06 amps. On the 60 watt, 25.6 volts and 3.06 amps. As you can see, just a little bit more on the amps make a difference. Again, the, the efficiency rating on these panels is 25%. Now I'm gonna put the dimensions up for both of the panels so you could see the dimensions. By the way, these are um, IP rated, IP68 by the way. Um, I'll put an image up on the screen so you can see what that looks like. They, they say that you shouldn't really submerge these, by the way, for long periods of time. You, you know, I, obviously that's a statement that doesn't need to be made. I mean, IP68 is really solid, right, when it comes to the IP rating. The weight on these panels is, um, on the 45 watt, 3.09 pounds or 1.4 kilograms. And on the 60 watt, it's 4.41 pounds or two kilograms. And I'll put the warranties up also. So here they are laid out. To the right, the 60 watt. To the left, the 45 watt. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a original EcoFlow 60 watt panel right behind these two so you can see how much bigger it is. You ready? There you go. I mean, here is your 45 watt, right? Four panel, 45 watt. Here is your four panel, 60 watt. And look at that big boy, huh? <laughs> That's a two panel. 60 watt but it's got that kickstand that's going away by the way it came out with a 160 watt and a 220 watt uh, panel that has um, kickstands built in now we did some videos on those new panels i'll put an image up for a second um, so you could see both videos i'll put a link in the video description but i just wanted to show you in comparison look at the size Real quick example, as you can see, you can hang these as well. These are the clips that come with them. They're really easy to use. You get four of them, and you can hang them on your backpack, wherever you like. So you could charge many devices with these panels. Again, using that USB Type-C, right? You just have to pick up a cable. We'll try to put one in the video description, but We've got a USB Type-C charging cable connected to a power bank. And if you can see the screen there, it's charging, right? 43%. Uh, so that'll work, right? Charge your power banks that you need. You can also charge your cell phones, right? My S23 Ultra charging via solar. 
And don't forget, this has the uh, DC port and it comes with the DC cable, right? So this actually converts the DC port to an XT60. Uh, now this is an XT60i, but it'll still work. We've got a River 3 here. I'll open up the panel on the side, connect this guy, and uh, let's take a moment and see this turn on, and we'll see what type of wattage we're getting on the 45 watt panel. We'll do the same for the uh, 60 watt. So I am seeing 31 watts. All right. 31 watts says it'll take two hours to charge fully. All right, 31, 32 watts. We're 78%. So with 32 watts, it would take two hours to charge. All right, so there's, there's a good look at what wattage we're getting. Let's do the same on the 60 watt panel. All right, this is the 60 watt panel. So let's connect this and see what we're getting on the 60 watt panel. Plug it into the side again. Take a moment. Eight, 44, 43, all right, back up and down, 43 watts. 44 watts says it'll take an hour to charge. We're 44, 45 watts on this thing, as you can see on the display. 78% an hour to charge. We're getting 44 watts. Now let me tell you also, it's 25 degrees. Very sunny. Um, it is about 9.45 in the morning here on the East Coast. So heat will actually reduce the performance. We don't have heat. So this is pretty darn good. Now I didn't maximize the angle at all. So I'm wondering if I change the angle, will that make a difference, right? So, you know, it went down. By me changing the angle, it went down. So, um, you know, again, sun is a little high. It needs that higher angle but still 43 watts 79 percent now says it'll take an hour to charge the uh, river three all right so the price isn't bad um i do believe they should have included a usb type c cable they really own a lot of money especially since these have the type c on them they do give you the DC to XT60 cable, so that's good. And uh, performance wasn't bad on a cold day, right? You know, 25, 26 degrees. So I'll put a link in the video description for the cables and the panels, all right? And if you use our links, you help our channel at no additional cost to you. By the way, if this video helped you in any way, give us a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. And share our video with your friends and your family. Okay, I'll put our social media up top if you want to follow us on social media. And if you do, send us a message, say hi, we'd appreciate that. I'll put a video here on the right side if you have time and want to see another video. And if you want to subscribe to our channel here at Tech Made Easy, I'm going to put a round Tech Made Easy logo right there. Click on that, you'll be able to join the family and subscribe. And uh, guys, thanks so much. I wish you a wonderful day.